We just made this four foot porch leaner using our desktop laser for a good profit. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, summer is around the corner and craft shows are in full swing. And our customers are begging for porch leaners. So this week we're gonna use our OMTEC desktop polar laser to make a vertical porch leaner. A couple weeks ago we designed this summer door round and we're gonna make the perfect matching porch leaner to go with it. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed a four foot one by 12, but I thought I would save some money by getting an eight foot one by 12. That was still expensive. I did a little bit of shopping around and I did find an eight foot one by 12 that was labeled shelving. We're gonna cut that in half, making that board only $8. Then I needed five quarter inch MDF boards that are sized for my desktop laser. This was about $10. We also needed some glue. We're gonna use this Starbond Thick. This stuff is great. You can find this in our store at kngmakeit.com and we're using exterior house paint. These are not pressure treated boards. These are unfinished boards. So this exterior house paint will help seal this board. And it'll also seal the MDF. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. I'm gonna cut the one by 12 and a half using a miter saw. Then I'm gonna take the quarter inch MDF back here to our OMTEC polar laser and I'm gonna cut out all of our little accent pieces and words. From Lightburn, we're just gonna import the SVG. I have a version that's for desktop lasers. It's broken up into chunks that will fit inside the desktop laser bed. They're 12 by 20 chunks, actually they're like 11. So we're just gonna zoom out, grab the whole thing and move it up till we can cut our first part. All right, and then everything in blue, all the blue score lines are score lines, so all the blue is score. And my speed for that is 200 millimeters per second and 15% power. All of my red lines are for cuts, and for that I use five millimeters per second and 50% power. And I'm using a 50 watt laser, and it cuts through just fine. So let's go power up and get this first section cut. The first section cut beautifully, so we're going to select everything again, control A, let's zoom out so we can grab the middle, move it down to the next section fits in the laser bed, back in. just going to select the stuff that's in the laser bed, and we're going to cut this section out using the same speed and power for score and cut. And then we're just going to do the same thing for the rest of the cuts. Once I'm done, I'm going to drag it down, cut the next section, drag it down, cut the next section. Step three, time to shape it up. We're going to use the, uh, this little Dremel tool here and kind of give everything uh, some rounded edges, try to make his beak look rounded. So what we have here is a little standing gnome porch leaner, except our little gnome here is ready for the beach or ready for the pool. He can go either way. And he's got himself a little flamingo floaty around the waist. And it's really cute, it's round. So I thought we could round the edges make to it really make bubbly. it look like, yeah, yeah a like floaty. it's filled with air. Yeah. Yeah, I get it, and I think that will look cool. Right, we got the... And uh, then we have a beach ball. We could do the same thing with the yeah, beach we ball. we the beach ball. I think the floaty, the beach ball, and then maybe the sun. We carve the sun up a little bit. Okay. Make it look real. All right. <laughs>
now we paint. We're gonna use these little foam rollers to roll everything. Yeah, you can get these at any hardware store. Again, we're using that exterior house paint, which I have put in one of these FIFO bottles. You can get these in our store at kngmakeit.com too, but these are a great way to store your paints and something usable that you can just squirt out and then they sit in here. I actually have never cleaned the inside, so you know, at least it's not ketchup. You just keep <laughs> filling it up. And you it keep is, using it's like it. a paint condiment bottle. So we're just going to apply it right to our board here. Use a used one that we've already used to keep them in these little baggies. We don't even have to touch them. Keeps them fresh for a couple of days. A couple of weeks. A couple of weeks. Yeah. All right, I went a little light because I know you sometimes go heavy. So what? I'll, I'll put another coat. I think on we can that. get this done in one coat. Yeah, I know. Oh, one coat, Garrett. Oh, one coat, Garrett. That's what they called me in college. For our little pieces, we're going to put some tape down on our table here. This is just painter's tape. Ours happens to be green. You'll often find it in blue. We're just going to lay down some strips of it with sticky side up. And then you can put all your pieces on it, paint them, and they won't roll away when you're trying to hit them with the roller. And then I'm going to put a little piece at the top and the bottom to tape them down so they don't move while you're working on your pieces. I'm going to start with my hat. So the cool thing about this hat is the one set of stripes is already held together with this frame here and then we'll just paint the other set of stripes separately and put it back in its frame. If you don't have a desktop laser you can still purchase this as an unfinished kit just like you see here all of these pieces come in an unfinished kit and you can find that in our store at kngmakeit.com and we have the matching door round to go with it so if you want a little summer fun on your front porch go get yourself a kit this is all you fun. need to do is buy the one board the 48 inch board and another thing the home improvement store will cut that 8 foot 1 by 12 in half for you get all of our files, behind the scene content, and even a Kim and Garrett After Dark podcast. As well as monthly Zoom calls, access to a secret Facebook group, and we'll even send you one of these fancy t-shirts, all for $20 a month. It's the best way to support this channel. So join us over at Patreon.com. Step five. We're going to bring it all together with some Starbond Thick. This is the thick stuff. That way it'll <laughs> fill in the gap between the board and the MDF. All right, I think we should lay it all out first. What do you I think? agree. I think we should lay it all out first. Right. Make sure it fits. See where everything goes. just invented a new thing a glue holder you just glue it to your finger to get going and then 
you don't need to ever set your glue down. You just look at me go. I mean, I think I'm going to start using this technique. This is a good technique. I don't have to reach for it. It's just here. Woo! I feel like like one of the Harlem glue trotters. It's pretty stuck. <laughs> For $21, the cut time was about 90 minutes, and you could probably get it down uh, less than 90 minutes on a bigger laser. Now look at those little knobby knees. I love this uh, sanding technique. Look at how it really made this thing look rounded like a floaty. Look at this beach ball. Yeah. It looks awesome. You could probably get $65 for this, so that's a $44 profit. That's a good chunk of change. Now, if you don't have a laser and you're still feeling these summer vibes, you can get this kit in our store at kngmakeit.com and you can make one for yourself. All right, this guy's got me feeling some pool vibes, so <laughs> I'm gonna go hit the pool. It is 84, 84 degrees here today. I think it's 86, so I am about out of time. Still sticking with so that glue. It just came off. <laughs> So if you're not going to join us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. Oh, and don't forget, on Tuesdays, we go live with a new test cut. You know, something like this or a door round. Yeah, we have a pool version. See that it has beach at the bottom? We have a pool version of this one coming up, too. All right, so join us on Tuesdays. Oh, no. This one's not Where bad. Where we repair this one after well you... That's well-balanced. That's a well-balanced sign. <laughs>